Back in 95, Hubble took a picture of the pillars of creation and I don't remember when I saw it, uh, probably maybe in 2000s. And when I saw it, like many others, uh, it's something so impactful that I thought that these are the things or these objects or these kind of things out there in the space. So during this time in September, if you look south or if you look right up uh, towards the meridian all the way top, you will see Milky Way arm and the serpent's constellation is going to be there and part of this there is a huge nebula around 7500 light years away. You will see this constellation, you will see this nebula uh, called Eagle Nebula. So if you zoom into the Eagle Nebula, you will see this pillars of creation. But I was always wondering where they were, uh, where do I see them, if they are there, how do they look like, uh, why do they call these tall pillars as pillars of creation. The picture is so iconic. It is like a man and a woman and like maybe a woman is holding the child. So somehow the picture speaks for itself and they aptly named the picture as pillars of creation. Behind the dust, behind the clouds, there are new stars being born. So these are the pillars of creation of new stars. I use the Celestron Rasa telescope to get this wide angle shot of the Eagle Nebula, which is 75 light years across. And you can barely see the pillars of creation inside. Then I used the C14 a couple of years ago and tried to take a picture close up. And this picture gave me a close up of pillars, but I could not get the stars. Now I wanted to try the C14 to get both the stars and the pillars and see if I can get a better picture. I'm using the C14 to take pictures. I'm using a monochrome camera with filters. I'm using a new set of filters. I might show you that filters in new video. They are Antilia filters. They are doing pretty good. It's full moon as you can see close to 90 to 100% moon. And I'm using this website clear outside to come outside and if it is green, I might have a better chance to have cloudy less night. So it's 10 to 2 o'clock and I still need to watch for the clouds. It's not perfect, but it is helping a lot. This is my first five minutes exposure of pillars of creation using hydrogen alpha. This is one picture worth five minutes of data. And then I took a picture of oxygen. You can see barely after four minutes in the oxygen narrowband, you can barely see the pillars. This is sulfur filter. Using that filter, I was able to take a picture and the sulfur signal is very, very weak as well. So finally, I was able to take 3.5 hours of hydrogen alpha data. And then I took one hour of oxygen. That's all I could do it with the clouds. And then sulfur 2.2 hours. The signal from oxygen and sulfur pretty weak. The hydrogen is pretty nice. So I combined these three pictures and I hope you guys like that picture. Please let me know in the comments. If you are new to this channel, uh, please feel free to subscribe. I take pictures of astronomy. Thank you.